Hi guys, my Michelle here and I'm back after a couple weeks off of filming and everything and social media and I basically just didn't exist for this past month. I really needed some time to relax and it's been a little chaotic over here. I've been getting back into the flow of work. I had a wonderful Christmas. Um, an amazing New Year's and I was off of work in between so I got some more time to relax and um, just spend time with family and organize my life and get ready for like my goals this year. I thought I'd make my first video back nice and easy so this is an updated everyday glam routine. I think I've previously filmed an everyday makeup tutorial and an everyday kind of natural makeup tutorial. Um, this is my like kind of where natural meets glam like it's not like I'm wearing a billion colors um, I'm going for like a neutral look and I usually wear this to like church every Sunday or if I'm trying to like look really good for a meeting but I'm telling you this is so quick so easy to do there have been a couple changes with my makeup routine that I do every day and so I wanted to walk you through that and kind of give you an updated version of what I do today and to make it even easier on myself this will be a voiceover so that I don't talk too much and therefore the editing process will be a lot easier <laughs> so if you want to see how to do this look then keep on watching Okay besties, let's get started. I primed my face and did my eyebrows already as that part of my routine is the same. So to start off, I'm going in with my usual favorite, the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in NC25. I have some hyperpigmentation and so I am building that up until I'm happy with the coverage. Next, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium Sand. I'm running out of this one, so I just ordered more, but that's why you see me struggling to get it out of the tube and put it on. Then I'm blending that out with my Beauty Blender. Now for my contour, I'm using the Fenty Matchstick in Suede. I'm using a lot more cream products as of late. I feel like they blend out so easily and look a lot more natural on my skin. So I'm using that in the usual places and then blending that out with a compact brush. Next, I'm using my current favorite, the Rare Beauty Cream Blush in the shade Love. It blends so easily and you only have to use a little tiny bit and this tube will last you like forever. So I put two little dots on my cheekbones above my contour and then I put another little dot on my nose. I'm sorry, how amazing is that? Like look at how that blends. This is the best day of my life. Also shout out to my friend Aaliyah who bought this for me, you're amazing. I like to go over my face with a beauty blender to make sure everything is smooth and I also like to add a little bit more foundation wherever I need more coverage. Okay, so I'm about to bake my face with some loose powder, but watch me realize I forgot to change out of my ugly high school sweater. Ew, I forgot to change. Okay, I changed because it was necessary, and now I'm setting my face and baking the parts where I crease the most. So here's a little trickity trick. I like to cut my contour with the powder, and then I use any excess for more coverage on my cheeks. But I don't add too much so that it doesn't get cakey. Then I'm using a big fluffy brush to wipe off any excess powder. Okay, I was obviously feeling myself. <laughs> As I said before, I'm going through a cream product phase. I've avoided them because I have oily skin, but I feel like they look so good and dewy on the face. So when I pair them with my matte foundation and put it on after I set my face with powder, it stays on a lot better and I like to go over it as well with a little bit of powder bronzer so that it stays in place. And I'm using the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in Butter Biscuit. My new setting spray also helps a lot with my makeup moving around throughout the day. So after I use a little powder bronzer just to lock everything in, I go in with as much blush as possible on my cheekbones and my nose. So for my eyes, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. It smells damn delicious, and I'm using the shade Coconut Cream to start off. I'm putting that all over my lid, and I usually go for a neutral soft glam to enhance my basic routine. Next, I'm using peanut butter in my crease. So something that helps me apply eyeshadow exactly where I want it is moving my head down, but keeping my eyes up. I hope that makes sense, but when I do it, I see exactly how far to blend my eyeshadow according to my eye shape. So using this technique, I'm also flicking my brush out at the end. And then next, I'm taking Truffled, this dark brown shade, and I'm putting it in my crease and outer corner using this same technique. 
I'm also taking that same color and pinching my brush at the end to blend it out under my eyes. Then I'm taking that same light cream shade and putting it all over my lid, then blending everything out using all of those colors. It's called teamwork. So once I'm happy with that, I'm using some black pencil liner in my lower waterline. All right, so next I'm using my best friend on this whole entire planet, and that is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Every time I buy a new tube, I remember how much I love it. I've been wearing falsies a lot less because of the pandemic and being home, so I've noticed my lashes have gotten a lot longer, and this mascara is just perfect with them. So that being said, I am not going to put lashes on today. And don't forget to coat your lower lashes a little bit too. I get so angry when I get mascara on my face. It feels so illegal after I've spent half of my life doing my makeup. But if this ever happens to you, I got you. Just wait for it to dry and then you can take it off by brushing it with a spoolie. You're welcome. Works wonders. Add a little bit of powder on top and you're good as new. Next, I'm using my new favorite setting spray. It smells a little odd, but it works wonders with keeping your makeup glued on all day. It's also a little bit expensive, and that is why I'm using the mini version. Next, I'm using my Kylie Cosmetics highlighter in Salted Caramel, and I am using that on the usual spots. After I take my hair out, I'm using my go-to lip liner, the MAC Lip Liner in Cork. She has such a hold on my life. You can pair her with anything and it always looks so good for no reason. So for lip gloss, I have a couple of go-to options. I either use the Maybelline lip gloss in Madeline, but I'm all out of it. I also really like the Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Balm. It's more like a gloss and I have the shade Nearly Neutral. It's also moisturizing, which I love. But for today, I've made the executive decision to go with the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in Fenty Glow. I like the color, but one thing is I hate the way it smells. I'm so sorry, Rihanna. I love you. <laughs> All right, last thing, I'm gonna curl my lashes. I always look like I'm in pain when I do this, but it makes a difference, and that is the finished look. All right, so that concludes this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys are doing amazing. All right, so I have some very fun content coming up for you guys. If I have enough footage for my ski trip, I'll put together a little cute video that you can watch. I'm calling it a ski trip, but we did not go skiing, so stay tuned for that. It might be up, it might not be up, but we'll see. We'll see how I feel next week. Um, and I also want to film a series about mental health. Let me know how you feel about that. I think January is like mental health month. In general, I think besides the month, I think it's very important to talk about mental health in general every month. And so I kind of want to start this series and whatever I feel that it's laid upon my heart to speak about it. Um, and I thought that would be cool to do and a very vulnerable side of Mariah Michelle, so I think that would be a fun series. Let me know what you think. Any more ideas, leave them in the comments below. That being said, don't forget to like this video, comment down below with anything else you'd like to see from me, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on all my socials, they'll be linked down below. What's next for Mariah Michelle? Um, I'm thinking my brand this year, the tagline will just be chaotic. I think chaos I think embracing the- oh my gosh, that's so good. Embracing the chaos. <gasps> that's so smart. Okay, sorry, marketing brain. <gasps> Guys, 2022 will be the year of embracing the chaos. And I think that's gonna be my kind of vision for this year. Embracing the chaos. Chaos is gonna come at you, but I want to embrace it and deal with it better. So anyways, this will be a very chaotic year. Um, I'm very excited for everything that's to come. And I hope you guys are safe and doing well. I know gyms are closed, restaurants are closed in Ontario. I'm praying for all of you. I'm sorry. I hope we make it out of this mess soon. Amen. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.
22, sorry, forgot what year it was. So that will be fun. I also want to do another video about anxiety. Sorry, I say it so weird. I said it so weird. I know I did. I also want to do a video about ex I can't, I don't know how to say the word anymore. This is giving me anxiety. <laughs> anxiety. I also want to do a video on anxiety. It sounds so weird, but is this a real- Anxiety. Anxiety. Ex <gasps> now for my contour, I'm- Ew, I said that's so ugly. I also like to add a little bit more foundation wherever I need some more- Oh, ew, voice crack. 